The last thing I would say is be likable. Am I likable? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John Coleman. I'm an agility chain chef. So I used to do marathon running. Uh, I ran New York twice. I did 11, I think. And you might find this really strange, but when I'm on the starting line of a marathon, I'm never happier. Um, it's like the, nobody in the world can touch me right now. I'm doing my run. It's four hours and I just go into a zone. I started as an interim back in 2007. Yeah. And uh, I discovered a Scrum at a factory in Ireland, uh, Banta Global Trunky at a factory in Limerick. And uh, I was put in there to basically deal with a, a software lifecycle problem. So we had, it took us nine months to deliver software. At the time, I would have been a very experienced project manager, 14, 15 years experience, lots of daggers on my back, so to speak. And uh, it, was kind of it was kind of weird in a way, because what I was doing was, I was accepting change late in projects, even as a traditional project manager, because I knew that life changes, business changes. The, the leaders need to want to change themselves. In fact, that's one of our mantras, I am the change. Yeah. Um, you know, start the change yourself, you know, and actually, see that true right to the very end. I think you need to be serious about having a, a lean agile organization yeah. and so you need to be ready for the time when you'll be deprecating your non-agility roles and transitioning a lot of those previous non-agility roles over towards agility roles. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean laying people off, it means finding a home for the right people, transitioning them across to uh, the relevant roles. There needs to be a motivation for people to collaborate as well. And this goes back to measurements as well. So if people are being measured to be in functional silos and uh, to be really good at delivering whatever deliverables come out of that functional silo, there is effectively a disincentive to collaborate then. Mm. You have to make it in people's interest to collaborate. Mm. I think the biggest misunderstanding is understanding the price that you need to pay to go on the journey. So it's not free, the change is not free. Um, you, you need to have, if you're, if you, for example, if you're using Scrum or Kanban, you'd need some kind of product owner roles, uh, empowered, knowledgeable, available, uh, accountable people. And you need to be ready to not undermine those people. Uh, you need to really uh, give them responsibility and accountability to deliver the right products, to, to do the innovation that needs to be done and so on. There's a lot of buzz about the gig economy. And I think that's where it's going. Uh, people not having long-term jobs. I mean, there are still long-term jobs, uh, and you know, particularly if you're following a career within a company, you might want to, you know, be part of the company and you know, uh, get promoted and all that kind of good stuff. But there's an alternative, which is the gig economy. You know, being an interim, being an interim CTO, being an interim uh, tra change agent, whatever it is that you're doing. Mm. And I think that's the future. And it's it's a nice way to work. It's um, it's interesting. You you get exposure to lots of different organizations, lots of different people. You learn things as well from your clients as well as offering something to them. So I think it's the way of the future.